welcome back. Welcome back to the D-Time Love Show. This is your host, Dimitri, and today I'm introducing a new series called Real Watch Talk. This is episode one, and today's subject is going to be renting luxury watches. Now, um, let's, let's be honest, guys. A lot of people rent anything from, you know, boats, luxury yachts, cars. They rent homes, and there's good reason for that. You know, the cost of, of living and purchasing high-end luxury goods are very expensive and uh, some people will never be able to afford to buy a for example a luxury timepiece you know someone may never be able to afford you know AP Royal Oak or a Patek Philippe Nautilus whatever timepiece it may be it may always be out of their budget so do you guys think it's a good idea to rent such a timepiece um, and how affordable is it? Is it really worth your while renting um, a, a luxury timepiece? Now, I can understand that people rent, you know, luxury cars for weddings, for special occasions. So my thought process is, you know, probably the only time I'd even even consider something like this would be for a special occasion. But I'm luckily I'm lucky enough to be in a position to be able to afford not the most high end luxury timepieces, but I've got quite a half decent watch collection, I feel. And I've got anything from my affordable beta watches to what I would call my grill of watches. You know, um, I've got a Patek Philippe Nautilus. Um, you know, it's, it's a special occasion watch. That one would be a watch that I would wear to a wedding, for example. Um, and I've got my everyday watches. So I really, don't, I really do think it comes down to the environment that you, you live in, what you're striving to be. You know, there are a lot of people out there that like to, put, you know, fake it until you make it sort of attitude. And um, I'm a big believer of buy what you can afford, buy what you can afford to lose. But um, I was looking at the luxury rental market for timepieces. And to be honest with you, it is bloody expensive, guys. And I'll give you an example. Um, there's a lot of companies out there that are doing this at the moment. There's got gold membership. There's a silver membership and there's a bronze membership. And basically you sign up for, for a year contract. So you end up paying a monthly fee. So you could end up spending minimal $150 or 150 pounds, whatever it was, to a thousand pounds a month. The prices just got up and up by the way. And what that allows you to do, depending on your membership level that you're in, you'll have access to wearing certain watches, you know, throughout the month. Um, basically, it's like leasing it per day or per month, whatever. But you're in, you know, a certain contract for a year, so you lease that particular watch for a year, um, and at the end of it, you've got nothing to show for it, guys. To be honest with you, but um, you know, I mean, with certain watches, my biggest problem with this is that you will probably buy a certain watch, you know, a Patek Philippe Nautilus or a Rolex Daytona, and potentially if you get it on the used market you could potentially get the money that you paid for it you're not losing any money so you, you literally have that watch rent free this is probably the biggest gray area in the market if you are someone that really knows about watches technically technically you could go out there and do that and avoid having to go and rent a luxury timepiece you know there are a lot of watches in my collection over the years where I owned a very high timepiece. I spent a lot of money on the watch, but because I got it used or I got it at a very good discounted rate from someone that I know, I was then able to go and sell it for the money that I paid for the watch. Watch. So technically, that watch cost me nothing, and I got to enjoy wearing it. The pleasure of seeing it every day, you know, was absolutely great. Now, um, however, there are people, for example, that live in the city of London or New York, Manhattan, for example. And, you know, um, you don't really have room to have a car, for example. And I can see why people would tend to rent a luxury timepiece so they can, you know, maybe experience more than one timepiece at the same time. Um, they're offering it as a concierge service, for example, as well. So they come down and bring you a selection of watches that is within your your uh, membership, for example. You can choose to watch, but you're looking at 20, 20,000 plus dollars or you know, 15,000, 16,000 UK pounds sterling for the service. Now, um, it could be a situation where if you don't really want to own these watches 
and you're not really a collector and you just want to have, you know, you've got that service part of your five-star apartment and there's a concierge and they work in partnership with them and they offer these sort of things, then why not? You know, if you've got all the money in the world, do it. For me, it's not really my cup of tea, to be honest with you. I, 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 would, I would probably never, ever rent a, a luxury timepiece, to be honest with you. Um, I'd rather own a cheaper watch that I can wear, that I can say that is mine. I know, you know, people wear them as more of a um, status symbol. But for me, with all honesty, I think um, the watch don't make the man the watch. i uh, sorry. I think I need to edit that. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is the watch don't make the man. The man makes the watch. That could be to a certain extent, unless they're wearing a real crap so-called beta stroke shit to watch that people like to call it but uh i try and keep my my channel as clean as possible because i know i've got quite a few younger viewers that uh watch the uh the time love channel but um yeah i i would suggest maybe saving your money um the money that you're gonna spend you know leasing or renting a you know luxury timepiece you could pretty much buy used example which is yours and uh, when you go to sell it um you would have pretty much lost hardly any money on that particular time piece if you do your research if you watch my last video which watches offer the worst value for money um, so that's my opinion on that subject you know um, leave your comments below I'll be keen to find out what your thoughts are um, I don't want to dig out any companies that do this uh, but this is my opinion it's not for me it may be for you let me know your reasons why and what your thoughts are. Take care, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the content, please subscribe. And uh, I've got a few reviews coming on the Citizen Signature range. I've bought a new watch as well. So keep watching, guys. Talk to you soon. See you later.